Collective. Hello, hello, Collective. I'm going to just do a reading today and kind of see what comes out. What the spirit wants you to know. Let's get some messages from spirit and see what it is that um, they want you to know at this time. Collective. Spirit, what is it that you want the collective to know? Spirit, what is it that you want the collective to know? What are the messages for the collective? These cards are so big, y'all. Sorry about the background noise. My family is here, so it's a lot of noise in the back. I apologize. What is it that you want the collective to know, Spirit? What is it that you want the collective to know? So the first card you got was masculine, okay? Okay, you got guidance, okay? And the last card we have is incubation. So what this is talking about here, I feel, is that the Lord talks about, I feel, inside, is that you need to make a head over heart. You need to tap more into your head, you know, your intelligence, your logic versus your, um, your emotions. You know, you need to be more level-headed. And, you know, I feel like guidance is definitely something that you may be getting. Some of you could be tarot card readers. Um, some of you can read from a different perspective. Some of people, some of you could be getting tarot card readings as well. I also, I feel like you've been seeking that guidance that you need. This could be a masculine energy that is actually seeking guidance at this time. And they're going within to be enlightened. They've been, you know, an incubation period. Okay, so I feel like somebody is needing to make some type of possible decision here, okay? And I just kind of feel like they're getting the guidance that they need, okay? And there is a guardian here that is definitely helping you, okay, that is around you in spirit, that is guiding you and showing you the way as well, okay? So this is what I'm seeing here, okay? Let me find out what else is going on. What is it that the collective needs to know about this energy spirit? What is it that the collective needs to know about this energy? Okay, so that came out. Okay, so practice, patience. Okay, you got patience. So even though you're seeking guidance, okay, I feel like spirit is seeing to be more patient, okay, and pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. Stay focused on what it is that you are trying to do here and what it is that you are definitely manifesting and, and seeking guidance for. Okay, I also feel like you need to use caution here. Now, this isn't always a bad card because I read this a different way too as well. I feel like there is some caution that may need to be done here. I feel like because you don't need to stay in incubation period for too long. Don't stay in there too long, okay? Let your light shine. There's, there's nothing wrong with you going to incubation period for a short amount of time to be able to get the guidance and the answers that you need from spirit. But don't allow yourself to stay there too long. Do you understand what I'm saying? I hope y'all do. <laughs> some of you may be doing some shadow work here. So I do feel like there is a masculine that could possibly... And that masculine could be a feminine or a man, uh, um, male. So my thing is I feel like that somebody is definitely doing some shadow work here. Um, there could have been some... Some uh, spiritual warfare that was on that was topped off on all of this. Okay, I feel like some of you may have been experiencing some type of transformation to be able to go within and find out the truth of these illusions that was around in your circle. Some of you may have cut some people off out of your life to be able to move forward and figure out the truth in a, in a, in a matter here. Okay, so let's find out what it is. What else is it that spirit needs you to know? What is it that spirit needs to collect it to know? with this energy. What is it that spirit needs to collect it to know? Anything else? Okay. So I feel like you're a fifth chakra. Now I feel like you are getting ready to speak your truth masculine. You are. I feel like you're getting ready to speak your truth. Speak your truth about what it is that you want. Your happiness with your family. This could be you speaking your truth to your family. This could be you speaking your truth to your divine feminine as well. Okay, speaking that, speaking the truth 
you know, about what it is that you want, being clearly and thinking head over heart of what you want in your life. I do feel like you have had some problems with your throat chakra. There was some blockages. I do feel that it was, but I feel like you're coming up out of that. You're going within. You're getting the answers that you need, and you're going to be speaking your truth if you haven't already been spoken, speaking your truth. Okay? I feel like there's a decision that you need to make, okay? And I feel like at, at some point in time, you were very indecisive. And this came from the stinky energy that somebody was projecting onto you. So it was making you very indecisive. There were a lot of illusions around this because you didn't know which way to turn to. Okay, you may have received some advice from family, okay, to be able to make this decision. But I also feel like you've been getting uh, guidance through tarot card readings. You may have gotten a reading, okay? You may have been watching tarot card readings to be able to get this advice that you need in order for you to make this important decision. But I really do feel like this has something to do with uh, magic here that you have been indecisive about. Um, somebody may have been projecting some of those stinky magic tricks, you know what I mean, onto you. Okay, let me find out what's going on here, Spirit. What are the messages? Seems like this Spirit is speaking into a masculine here. I have no doubt that we're talking about a masculine here. Spirit, what is it that you need the collective to know for this uh, energy that's right here? What is it that you need the collective to know for this energy right here that's sitting out with the guidance and everything? Ooh, guidance. I can't make it up. Guidance. See, you're getting guidance. You're being guided by spirit. Spirit is guiding you towards your correct path, towards the person that you actually supposed to be towards. Or whatever it is that you're trying to manifest in your life, your spirit guides are definitely there currently guiding you. Yeah, because you're manifesting your family. You're manifesting your divine feminine. This is what I feel like. Your desires and whatever it is that you are doing, like far as you're manifesting your dreams that you want to come true, I do feel like you are doing that. But I also feel like somebody was trying to put a block in the way of that. Okay? And you've been doing a lot of self-reflection. When I say shadow work, there's been a lot of shadow work here because there was some confusion here. There was a lot of confusion here. This is, this is confusion right here. Indecisiveness. I feel like whatever it is that you were trying to manifest, it really wasn't coming into play at the moment, okay, because of the magic that was being done here, okay, the confusion that was being let off for these illusions, okay, what is that, what else here? yeah, I said somebody was trying to block you, didn't I, I said that, they were trying to block your manifestations, whoever these people are. Yeah, trying to put blockages and obstacles in your way. And they were manifesting on moon cycles. Yes, they were. They were manifesting on moon cycles. Mm -hmm. And this person also, as well as this person could be doing some self-reflection on their self that was doing this magic. But I also felt like whatever this was that they were doing, it caused you to go within and have a transformation. And I felt like now you're starting to figure things out. But this person, whoever these people are, tried to block their masculine. Divine feminine, so you know. Okay. Um, yeah, this person is not who they appear to be. They were catfishing your divine masculine, confusing them with all these different messages and magic that they were doing, trying to keep your masculine at a fork in the road. I can't make it up. Fork in the road. They were they were literally blocking them with magic here. Some of them could have been calling on demons here, entities here, from what I can see. Yeah, what I say, causing confusion here. This is what I'm seeing for the masculine. See, your masculine was confused about which way to go because of whoever this was they was dealing with or whoever this family that they had around them or, or friends or whoever was trying to block them. Yeah. They could be dealing with somebody that was trying to block them from going to it. This person was being very childish. They were. Causing blocks, using magic, gossiping and stuff like that. Talking mess, spreading rumors, spreading lies. About your masculine here. Okay? They could have done this to, uh, in cuffing season. Trying to prevent your masculine from coming towards you, divine feminine. Because they were studying something new. And they did not know what they were doing. Because it's a new study. Whatever this was, it was kind of working. But then it's not, it's not working. Because I feel like your, your masculine here is being guided towards you. Your masculine here is figuring out their life purpose. One more part. Yeah, this person was obsessed with doing spell work. 
obsessed with the occult. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sure was. Sure was. This person could have been trying to manifest everything in their life. Spirit has been, been sending messages for this person to stop doing this. Because it was getting them nowhere. This person is very codependent on your masculine. Whoever they're dealing with, that's who was doing this, the spell work. This person definitely was codependent on your um your masculine. And divine feminine, you could be a tarot card reader. I feel like your divine masculine was definitely um watching your page or watching your um your platform to figure out what it is that was going on because he knew something wasn't right and I felt like he was trying to figure you know what was going figure out what was going on. Spirit, what are the messages? So this energy right here, what's going on? What's going on, Spirit? What are the messages for the collective? What's going on here? What is it that you need them to know about this this energy? This confusion, this magic, all this stuff. What is it, Spirit? What is it that you need them to know? That's too many. But, yeah. You're being guided towards your divine feminine masculine. You are. I feel like you're getting ready to speak your truth. Your throat chakra is, is definitely open to be able to speak your truth and speak what it is that you want because you knew it was a lot of illusions around you, right? Masculine. It was a lot of illusions and magic being done to block you from going towards your true divine feminine, which is your past life soulmate, your twin. Okay, and I see you want to invest, but I do see that you're sad and, and possibly regretful about this situation. But I also feel like the person that's definitely doing this magic is going to be regretful. They're going to be in the five of cups for causing all this confusion with what? This magic. This magic. And I feel like spirit is leading you away from this person. Okay? There is because you're seeking the truth. You're seeking the truth in this matter. Anything else, spirit? Yeah, I feel like, you know, you are holding back masculine from your divine feminine, okay? Even though you really love this person, you do. I could be talking to a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I could be talking to, um, a, well, I don't know if I've seen that yet. But anyway, a Gemini, okay? Because, see, you, you know who you want to choose. Yeah, you have to make a choice between two people, uh, divine masculine. But I feel like you know where your heart lies with your twin, because that's what's working for you. And I see you're going to communicate with your divine feminine. Divine feminine, your masculine is definitely going to communicate with you. There will be some messages coming in to tell you what exactly has been going on in their life. They're going to be calling and speaking the truth. Because there was a lot of magic done here to try to prevent y'all from coming together. This person that they were dealing with was trying to send a lot of blocks in between this. They were. Anything else, spirit? Yeah. But I see the divine masculine is going back and forth in their head, and it, or they weren't, because this person is this person keeps doing this magic, you know, causing confusion, trying to steal your divine masculine from you. Okay, being deceitful and thought they was gonna get away with it, but they're really not. They're really not, because see, your divine masculine loves you enough to end this cycle out with this person. There's an end to these these fails. It's coming to an end. Spirit. Yeah, it is. Justice will be served. I need y'all to know that. Justice will be, be served, Divine Feminine. And this opportunity will be coming in towards you from your Divine Masculine. That God divinely guided for you to have, okay? I also feel like this person wants to come in and speak fairness to you. They don't want to breadcrumb you anymore. They don't. They want to come in. They watch you. They look at your photos, everything. They watching you definitely, but they want to come in and speak their truth. They want to speak it just and they want to speak it fairly. Yes, they do. They want to balance things out. They want to give you an equal give and take, but they know they're going to have to leave this other person. They're going to have to complete that cycle with this other person. Okay. They're going to have to leave that person out in the cold first because they cannot come towards you if they have not completed that cycle that they were dealing with. Okay. And for some of y'all, this could be, look, a third party interference because somebody was trying to work against y'all. But I feel like some of y'all, this is a hierarchy, a hierarchy twin flame journey that you're on and it's definitely def destined to happen. And your masculine is wanting to take action. They are, they are releasing these burdens. 
They're coming out of this isolation because they have been enlightened and they have been healing here. But now they want to come towards you and heal with you. They want a family legacy with you. So there will be some apologies coming towards you, Divine Feminine. There will be some apologies coming towards you, okay, from your masculine. Because they want to have this happiness with you, okay? And they want to get rid of this toxicity. They want to get rid of this bondage that they were in. These addictions, all this stuff that they were in. They are very passionate about you, okay? Very. But I also see, feel like you feel the same way as well. Okay, so let me get y'all. Woo, honey. Honey, honey. Okay. What are the messages for the collective? The divine masculine, divine feminine spirit. What are the messages for the collective? The divine masculine, divine feminine. What is it that you need to know? Ooh. Be bold and make the first move, masculine. Be bold and make the first move. Move. I feel like your masculine could be a cardinal sign. Y'all know what the cardinal signs are. Or also a fixed sign. Confidence is definitely key. I feel like your divine masculine is definitely building the confidence up to be able to come towards you and make that first move, divine feminine. I really do. This person has been in meditation as well as you have been in meditation as well. And they're getting the answers through this meditation. Okay? This new romantic cycle you could be dealing with the Libra is coming. Okay? And you, he, he is working through his fears. Definitely. It's coming. He's definitely working through all the spell magic that's been done. All the riffraff that's been done. Okay? Definitely. Hold on. Let me get some love messages for y'all. Let me get y'all some love messages. Then we're going to end this out. Spirit, what are the messages for the divine feminine and the divine masculine? What are the messages for the divine feminine and divine masculine? What are the mes messages for the divine feminine and the divine masculine? For the collective spirit. For the collective. Okay. So you guys are manifesting each other. I feel like your masculine is manifesting you back. So there will be a manifesting miracle. Your dreams is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So stay guided, divine masculine. Continue to trust that things are going to work out for you. Okay? Continue to trust that. Don't make decisions based on guilt, though. Okay? Or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Okay? I feel like this person that you was dealing with before moving towards your divine masculine, I mean divine feminine, is going to try to pull a guilt trip on you. So please be careful with, about that. Because it is meant for that to end. Because you have been experiencing this transformation. Okay? Your relationship with your divine feminine, okay, is about to deepen. Love conquers all and transforms all things. So know it's getting ready to happen. It's getting ready to happen. Okay? So that's what I have for y'all. I love y'all. Stay blessed. Stay protected. Stay in meditation. Stay high vibrational. Okay? Be blessed. Namaste.